Welcome back to Prey, y'all. 2872. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the Prey 2017. I love this game. God's hooks in me. I don't think they're gonna betray me like Rage 1. See, I remember playing Rage on Xbox 360, the first disc of that game. I was having fun, dude. But then that second disc, all the signs of, just bad signs appearing everywhere. Sure enough. It went from a really fun game, I was having a fun time, to just disappointment, man. Rage one. Big disappointment. I encourage y'all to play that first disc, though. That first disc was fun. I know you're basically an errand boy, but... I don't know what it is about the apocalypse that makes you errant boy. <laughs> Alright, got enough ammo. Let's try our experiment real quick with the Huntress, because I'm just really curious like how much steel you could get from a spare part in them. I'm legitimately curious. Gonna dismantle these into spare parts. And see that went from seven to eight. Thank you. 
So now we have 20 spare parts, which we can use to make ammo or fix stuff. And synthetic and organic is the most of what you get in this game. I think synthetic's the easiest to come across. It's so underrated Huntress comes in again. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get more synthetic, man. It ain't no thing. And that way, if we uh, say we run low on bullets and we have no steel, uh, emergency. Is that worth three neuro mods, though? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Weird sounds from the coffee I just drank. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, not really a fun episode today, guys, but whatever. Yeah, this comes with the uh, It's New to Me territory. Man, it was y'all reading it. It was that bad the Russians came to America for help with the Typhon threat. Aliens. I mean, there is a whole lot of stuff we have not been told. And I don't just mean Russians or Americans. I mean everybody. I was literally... Huh? Fair enough. I guess they respawn each time. Do, 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 do. 
I should probably save the ammo for that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know I probably should have switched a pistol to finish him off, a wrench, something, whatever. It's all in good fun anyway. Oh, cho. Yeah, and we can get more spare parts out of these. That's why we're here. How's that hurt me from throwing it? Come on. You just being a dick now, game. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, we got that last episode. I guess it just doesn't like you throwing it for some reason. Whatever. Or it's that specific one for some reason? I don't get it. But yeah, see? <laughs> oh no! That's cool that it does that. Down. Down. Just whack this fool. Should be two of these in the next room. Oh, you ain't seen shit. Come here. Ah, 
How well do these work on robots? <laughs> Messy. <laughs> curious how the Q beam works so you gotta fill up their life meter with the Q and then they explode and you guys saw that it didn't debilitate them or slow them down at all You know, like flamethrower would. <laughs> Maybe the Q's better at organic enemies. Because you saw what it did to that phantom on the test range. But yeah, against them... Eh. Yeah, I do agree with Morgan's notes. Metal body shrugs off most rounds. Yeah, you gotta put a full mag of 9 milli ammo into them. Three or four shotgun shells, if I remember right. Yeah, glue and wrench, or glue and taser seem to be good. I will bring it on, bitch. Reloaded four shells, so four and a wrench. Yeah, and I forgot to heal. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't think the Q beam works as well on that, because you guys saw that. You have to fill up their life bar to make them explode. And unlike a flamethrower, which, you know, melts your face off, debilitates your combat ability. Didn't do that to these guys. Maybe it's because they're robots, though. We're going to have to try the Q on, um, human targets. <laughs> <laughs> Organic target. There you go, boy. There's the new speak Jimmy Jam for you. <laughs> uh, we have to try it on organics. But anyway, that's why we're here. Get spare parts off these guys. Split out. Ugh. I just felt like doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> Kobe. That's good. <laughs> Different sport. For whatever reason, this one hurts you when you throw it. Is this one or the one downstairs? Do, do, do. Yeah, this one. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> See how that five goes up to the barrel to indicate that it's loaded? I like that. <laughs> nice little touch. That's what I was trying to make happen. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it just does it when it wants to, huh? Well, there's... Kinda no point to fixing these, man. <laughs> you know, if the two Phantom... Well, the Phantom and two... Corrupt operators, corruptorators keep respawning. What's the point of uh fixing the turrets? Uh, they're just gonna get broken again. That's what I'm getting at.
had fun with that last episode. <laughs> We need to know if our new super throw sets these off. The answer is yes. So you'll note in an earlier episode when I was fighting that phantom in the stairwell to Psychotronics, to the basement of Psychotronics, as just a regular, you know, regular Humi power. You know, I threw this and it would just bounce everywhere. Good to know. Very good to know. And we have to discover these things because it's new to me. Which means it's new to us, baby. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. Put the recycle grenade in there. Put the garbage in here. Bloop. Recycle. <laughs> or like that cheesy 80s movie. Garbage day. <laughs> And people claim the past is so much better than now, man. <laughs> yeah, with all the yunnins hearing this, if you hear this. There was a lot of horrible junk, worthless BS in the 80s and 90s, too. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> Believe me. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So yeah, there's a lot of these guys, man. Oh, uh, that guy's back in here, huh? I hear him. Oh, sure. I 
let's try to Q-beam on him. <laughs> oh, it's almost a shame to kill him. That was cool. Get out of my way. Blow! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's almost a shame to kill him. That dude's cool. I guess that radiation don't hurt them at all, huh? Man, he's taking his sweet ass time. Especially because he can use his shadows, his Mortal Kombat tricks, to take your beam up. Alright, screw this. Also, keep in mind, Bubba, you can throw these at him now. Save yourself some ammo, Half-Life 2 style. Do, 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 do. More spare parts. So you spend 11 neuromods to get in here. There's one. And that's a uh, mimic lore, two of them. Medkit, spare parts. Operators in here too. Robos. Okay, I did throw them down. Yep.
behind you. Yeah, even if you fix them, which I think I did one time, Mortal Kombat Phantom is way too powerful for one turret to handle. So he gets destroyed. It's all right, uh... Operator approach. All righty. The only thing we're really coming back for ever is... Uh... Whatever's in here, I guess. You know, if we get strong mans. Carry 48 total in a space, inventory space. Eh, I think we still have enough ammo. Yeah, and if we need more steel, emergency ammo, we got all those spare parts now. That's the whole point of today. Yeah, that just refills your magic juice, that's all. Whatever, we'll be back. Coming through. For whatever's in here with the satellite. Or, or strong man's one of the two. <laughs> Got all the broken operators and shit. Yep. 
Yep. So, the majority of our uh, objectives are pulling us to, towards crew quarters and guts. We might as well do that one, though. Yeah, that silence nine milli ain't bad, man. Whew, long episode today. But yeah, I was just back there in hardware last episode. I didn't expect them to respond. I guess a little amount responds uh each loading screen. I mean, it is an alien outbreak after all. At least it's not like the stupid magic guards off Siphon Filter or Far Cry 2. Where, you know, you were literally just there. You just killed him. But he magically responds. Church just down there chilling. Alright, well that's gonna do it here for us today. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Be safe, be kind, help each other if you can, y'all. Fuck 2020.